Hi guys, welcome to a quick episode of Luke's Garage and today I'm just going to walk you through how to uh, install the new Beaver Zero probe uh, which I've got here on a couple of different boards. Now it's a pretty straightforward process, I've got a couple of boards here, I've got a 2.3 version of the board and 2.4 um, and to be honest it's very 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 similar um, and this probe is very easy to connect as well. So if we take a look at the 2.3 version of the board first, and we just flip it over, we have a bank of connectors along here. Now each one of these are actually labeled, so if we just zoom in slightly, we can see we've got X limit, Y limit, Z, an E stop, probe, and then feed hole. If we go back to probe, that's where it's going to connect. And then if we look at a 2.4 version of the board, It's a bit harder to see, but they are still there. And actually, the probe, I need my bloody glasses for this, is the fourth one across. So you've got X limit, Y limit, Z limit, the probe, then you've got feed hold. They uh, got rid of the E stop on the latest version of the board. Now, if we're gonna have a look at the probe and just how to connect it, so have a look at the connector. It's a Molex KK.2.4. And it's a bit out of focus there. But you'll see it's actually got a connector block on the end of it and that's because I, I just include these just in case you want to uh, wire it in a different way but I'll just take that off and we don't need it to fit to the board. Now if we take the 2.3 version of the board and I'll just flip it over all we do is identify the connector so probe take this and insert it like so your probe is now installed. It's that easy. Just make sure you plug it into the probe module. We do it on the 2.4 version as well. Again, I think it was, let's have a quick look. That's the fourth across. Installed. Nice and easy. Um, just so you know how these probes work, this is actually pretty straightforward. Um, so you've got this magnetic end which attaches to your router to the spindle and somewhere near the um, the bit and then you've got this block which obviously sits on top of uh, on top of your uh, workpiece and that's your, your probe um, probe block uh, all that's happening is there's a, um, a small voltage uh, going through from this and it goes to ground as soon as it make, meets the ground which is on here um, more than make, make contact, that's how it probes. So nice and straightforward. Any questions, just hit me up. Thanks guys.